All right, guys, we got about 3,700 watts of panels up so far. This is the way I'm doing it now. I'm running the Unistrut horizontally. This uses a lot less lumber. This is just four by fours in the ground, a two by six slope down, and then the, uh, the Unistrut is just lag bolted Just lag bolted to the 2x6. I've got some threaded rod through the 4x4 four four that connects the 2x6 to the 4x4. Four four. And then for this build, I'm using, well, these are the wrong size. I'm, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for the right, right size end clamps to come in. These are for thicker solar panels. So I had to put a little spacer in there just uh, just to keep them secured for now. But basically the mid clamps same way. I just I get these I get these clamps from Signature Solar. And they come with this with this T-nut for the some kind of mini rail system. So I take, take those off. I use all the hardware except for that. And then I've got this custom machine T-nut that I just screw on there. And that, let me show you over here. So this T-nut just goes into the Unistrut. And then when you tighten it, it'll jam in there and allow you to Tighten up the screw, and it's just below the lip of the Unistrut, so it doesn't get jammed up on the on the solar panel frame. The original plan here was to go down and put another 15 kilowatts on this array, but I just came across this real interesting company that that what they do is it's called an earth mount system. I'm going to try that out, but I'm going to DIY it. This, uh, this section right here is relatively, it's got a couple bumps in it, but I think I can make it work. I can, I can run two rows of panels down right here. If it works, well, we might go in the back and get, uh, have a, have a dozer come in and level a pad out but I want to try it right here and I can probably get my 15 kilowatts in right here but basically what they do and the company is called Earthos if if you want to check it out there's not much information on the website but I've seen several large projects use their system from what I can gather they use a, a grid pattern of, of stainless cable and then they've got some kind of edge connectors that I guess it, it keeps the, the wind from underneath the panels. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to put some geo fabric down. I've got that ordered already. I'm going to cut this as short as possible. Maybe even put some weed killer on it. And then put down the geo fabric and put the panels on top of that. And what I want to do is drill some holes through the the wide part so I can get cables through the panels. And then I'll, I'll drive some posts in on, on either end. I'll probably have to put some cross wires in too so they don't start, uh, start flying around or picking up off the ground. But also I want to put some kind of a berm around them so the same thing so the wind doesn't get underneath them and start picking them up i don't know what do you guys think is that a viable idea it seems like uh you know if it works it's it's gonna be the cheapest way to get panels mounted if i decide to go with a bigger array in the back i'll, I'll probably do the same thing I'll, I'll do two rows at a time leave a path a walking path in between now the Earthos does just one massive big grid square. 
It just seems like, I mean, there, there's a video out there showing them replacing panels in the middle of, of the square, but it just seems like a, a maintenance nightmare. They've got a, a robot that runs over the, over the array every morning and cleans it. I don't know, that, that might be an issue if it's so low to the ground. Might be a lot more dirt that gets on it, I, I don't know. But we'll try it here, see how it works out. And if you guys have any thoughts on this, is it a good idea, is it a bad idea? You want me to try it? Leave a comment below, let me know. If you have any experience with it, sure would be interesting to find out what the outcome was with it. So that's about it for today, guys. I appreciate you. And don't forget to hit that like, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And any comment sure helps. We're kind of, I don't know what's happening with, with, the, uh, with the views lately, but we're not getting recommended by YouTube. So anything you can do, put a comment down below. Even some kind of a, just an emoji in the comments going to help out a lot. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye.